Bob, let's kick off with you. What is IPTV? Excellent question. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and I knew you'd be the best person to answer. Well, because you hear lots of people say, ha-ha, IPTV. I think many people assume that IPTV is television delivered via the web, accessed through the browser in some way, shape or form at home, because that's probably the most common usage of it. IP, of course, is just really, it, without grossly oversimplifying, a delivery mechanism, as opposed to broadcast television, IP is the mechanism that computers use, as everyone knows. So it lends itself naturally to the web. So I think, I think really the, the biggest definition of IPTV that people would accept would be delivery of television content via the web. I don't know how my colleagues would feel about that. Luke, let's, uh, let's develop that. Where, how, do you, how would you describe uh, IPTV? Well, I, I, I think it's slightly confusing because you know, having worked in the industry for a long time and, and to, to experiences to set-top boxes, which were IPTV, we used to call them IPTV, but in a sense it doesn't really matter because it's, it's kind of uh, ultimately what everybody else believes, and I think Bob's right, that it's certainly it's turned into online through a browser description of things rather than a technical description which we might have used for, for, for the experience. But I think, I think it's also going to morph into a, into a consumer product understanding where IPTV is really uh, content delivered on demand with a back channel and so forth and a more immersive, reactive experience ultimately. I think that's what it's going to... Uh, uh, let's, Mark, ask you the same question but also uh, for my own clarity how does IPTV fit in to DSL-supplied, telco-supplied programming and content? Because they might consider that to be IP as well. It is IP. But I think that's a very good point, and I think there's been a transition over a number of years. I think initially, when IPTV first, first launched, certainly on the connected device side where we sit, um, IPTV almost meant telco TV. Um, I, I remember at the early shows, um, certainly that's what it was. It was all about delivering television, video on demand, whatever, um, to telco customers through the telco network. Um, I think, as, as already has been mentioned, I think um, in present times that's changed to mean something else. And I think what it means to us is a, a super bandwidth return channel that now um, other broadcasters, not just the telco providers, can actually use for, for putting high bandwidth entertainment down a channel to a consumer like video on demand. So I think initially it was very much a telco play, but I think now as we're seeing, uh, I think moving towards hybrid and multi-platform networks, it's very much seen as a, a high bandwidth return channel for delivering entertainment, of course using IP protocols. Sure. So it, it, in, in that case, it's used by the broadcaster it's used for delivering to uh, computers uh, 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 non-conventional broadcasting and it's also used for broadcasting but usually over a telco, uh, 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 in a telco environment. Yes, I think that's where most people recognise it from but as I said I think um, this IP return channel is moving into every platform of television that we, mm -hmm. we're currently seeing, satellite operators launching with a, a broadband backbone, etc. So I think it is migrating to more of a multi-platform approach. I think the, the point you made about this, the user control, is the interesting thing. Because when IPTV, as when you were first involved, this user control, the ability to control the stream from the device, was really not available until That's Sky cool. Player came on board and PVRs were established. Well, it was before that, though, then, but they were the mass market drivers. So when we did Home Choice from 1999-2000 over a DSL in a network, that was that was exactly it, and that's what we used to call it in the yeah. industry then. But it's kind of it's a technical term which has morphed into in, into other kind of accepted uh, products, really. But, but absolutely, it's about the user control yeah. interacting yeah. rather than the passive lean back experience of broadcast. That's something you can interact with and, and call content as you wish. Mm. 